Let's talk about tonguing on the trombone. And tonguing just means what we do with our tongue to start a note. So to start a note, we're just going to say the word two, T-O-O. -O. Say it with me. Go two. Try it again. Two. Now, really think about where your tongue goes in your mouth at the second you say two. Try it. Two. You should feel it at the very tip behind your top teeth. Think about it. Your tongue touches right behind your top teeth when you say two. Go ahead. Two. Two. Now take your finger and touch back there just so you know where you're actually touching your tongue. Two. So now say this after me. Two, two, two. Go. Two, two, two. We're going to do the same thing, but take your voice away and just use air. Listen once. I still said two, but I didn't use my voice. I just used the air stream. Try it. Now, put your palm in front of your mouth and do that again and feel the air coming out and touching your palm and you're going to feel it break for just a quick second right when you say two. Try it again and really feel it this time. So to do that on the instrument, we're going to do the same exact thing but play an F while we do it. Listen first. You can hear three breaks in the sound, three separate sounds. Listen again. Try that with me. Now, a lot of young players like to do this and make three really separate sounds. And that's not what we're doing yet. It's one steady stream of air that's coming out of your mouth the whole time. It doesn't stop, but your tongue just flicks the air as it's coming out. Listen. Turns into this. Try it with me one more time. So that is called playing notes that are connected. If we play them connected, the air doesn't stop. So the opposite of connected is separated. Listen to what separated notes sound like. And I'm just going two, 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 or with the air, I'm separating each one of those sounds. Try it on your instrument after me. With me, ready? Let's go back to connected. Listen first. Try it with me, ready? Now I'm going to play some rhythms and I want you to repeat them back to me all on the note F. So if I play this, you can hear that I went two, 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 or with the air. Try it with me on the instrument. Ready? Give it one more shot. Ready? Those were connected, not separated. If it was separated, you'd hear this. And a lot of beginning players think that they're playing connected, but really they're separating the sounds. So listen to your sound this time, and let's try a separated one, and we'll see what the difference is. So let's play separated. Listen. Try it with me. Now let's do the opposite, which is connected. Listen first. Try it with me. 
ready? Great, I'm gonna do a different rhythm now and you repeat it after me. Your turn, ready? And go. I'm gonna do one more rhythm, try it after me. Your turn, ready? Go. Now, I'm going to do some similar rhythms, but they're a little bit different. So just try to listen and copy it. Ready? Go. Here's another one. Ready? Go. Let's do one more. Listen first. Ready and go. Keep practicing using your tongue to play those notes. The more you do it, the easier it's going to get. 